What is your favorite proverb and how does it apply to your business or your career? Sharon horn from here, Supersize Your Business, and I'm pondering proverbs and I'm pondering idioms. About, geez, probably 700 days ago now, I decided I was going to, for a short period of time, share an idiom a day with the Supersize Your Business group and that we would... I, I look it up, I'd find out what does it mean, where does it come from, and how would it apply or how could it apply to me growing and supersizing and building my business, and then in turn help you to do the same thing. Well, about 700 days later, I've run out of my idioms list. I've been scouring the internet and going through, you know, there's, there's 20 to 25,000 idioms in the English language. And an idiom is just a group of words that means something different when they're grouped together than when the words were it, are individually, when you look at the individual meanings of the word. To me, it's kind of like synergy, right? The sum of the parts, when put together, create something than the individual parts if you look at them one at a time. Um, if we've got teamwork, if you work with teams at all, if you have teams, I've been on teams, or if you use teams in your organization, you understand the power of great teamwork and of synergy. I love synergy. Well, I got to thinking as I've, I've been going through this, you know, huge dictionary online to find different idioms. And I started to just go alphabetically and I'm like, okay, well, this isn't that fun. I wasn't having that much fun with it. The, the original source of idioms I found, because I was moving, I needed a way to create content quickly. And this little scholastic secret dictionary of idioms of my children's that they had never even opened, which I have now worn the living daylights out of, uh, became my source of inspiration. As I went through it, I thought, oh, I'll just do maybe, maybe I'll do, you know, 30 days or 60 days or 100 days. Well, it just kept going. And I found that I was enamored with the activity of finding out and taking things that most people wouldn't apply to my business and asking myself, okay, well, how could this apply to my business? How could this phrase, this word, this group, this cluster of words apply to my business? So as I'm going about doing that, I've, a lot of them were proverbs, right? We've covered a lot of proverbs in the last 700 days, but not, of course, all of them. So I was curious yesterday as I was trying to think, well, what do I want my idiom to be tomorrow? I just looked up proverbs. And of course, that led me to a list of the 10 most popular English proverbs and the, and the history of proverbs. You know, how, proverbs have been with us for over 700 years. I don't know when they were translated into English. I'll research that going forward. But uh, so from, the, from 700 BC, King Solomon started collecting proverbs. And it was originally to help people uh, not just the young people understand life lessons, but to share knowledge and wisdom and practical knowledge and wisdom with everybody. And it became so popular. It's, of course, part of the Bible and everything else. Proverbs are a part of our everyday life. So my list of 10 turned into a list of, okay, well, what are 50? And then that 50 led to another 50. And pretty soon I'm up to, you know, a couple hundred proverbs. And I got to thinking, well, what is my favorite proverb? There's so many of these. As I was writing this list last night, the kids and I were watching a movie. I'm like, I've heard of, there's only a couple of them that I'm really not familiar with. But otherwise, they've been a part of my everyday life. And I suspect they're a part of most people's everyday life. And that means that they're important. The language, the words that we use, and how we communicate with other people is very important to grow and build our business. It's how we connect with people and how we connect with people is paramount to their experience with us and that's how we improve and serve them better the better relationship we have with people the better we know how and what they need and how to to serve them so that they can have a great experience with us and become lifelong customers so my question today is what is your absolute favorite proverb and you know, don't don't think long and hard about it. It's probably something that you're thinking about and using every day. It's kind of like our primary question. Where it's just automatic in our life. We don't even realize that we're operating on it. Uh, but what is your favorite one, and how has how do you think it's impacted your business? I would love for some folks to share their experience with proverbs with me. And I'm thinking that over the next few days, I'm going to say few days, but it'll probably end up being a hundred days. I'm going to pick and just go through a list of proverbs and share a proverb a day, what it means, where it came from, and how it's been used probably over history. Just a little bit of history, but how it 
has either impacted me and my businesses or other people if they share their experiences, how it's impacted you and your business or how you might be able to use it to send your business in the direction that you want it to go. Most of us want to grow our businesses, but not everybody. Sometimes I've had businesses and I'm in one right now where I am super happy with the way it's going and, and how much time and effort and energy I put forth toward my business and the value it gives back to me. Uh, but sometimes we all want to grow and build our business. It depends what phase you're in, in your career, in your life, in your, in your business development, business growth, business growth. But Proverbs and understanding and communicating with people is at the core of everything we do as business owners, but also as human beings. So curious, share in the comments below your very favorite proverb or, or one that's just currently really impacting you. That would be cool too. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow with an interesting idiom, also known as a proverb. Not all idioms are proverbs. Not all proverbs are idioms, but with a, a group of Proverbs. We'll talk about one a day for a little while. We'll see how it goes. If I feel like, nah, I don't like it. It's not really adding value to uh, how I look at building my business. Then we'll do something else. We're always looking and continually improving to find things that serve us in the best way possible. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.